Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Rocket League. So this game is developed by Psyonix and it is still using Unreal Engine 3 so that is why it is so easy to run. So yeah, today we are going to test the game on the GTX 1650 Super with 4K resolution maximum settings on a competitive with two players versus two, but even three versus three, I have been investigating, and it's pretty much fine as far as I can see. So let's check the requirements for the game. So when this game was released, uh, this game actually recommended an NVIDIA GDX 660 with a quad core and four gigs of RAM. But today we have much higher specs in here and we are able to eat 4K with maximum settings with an average of 81 frames per second with a 1% low of 65. This means that the game never did drop from 60 frames per second and all these gathered information that I had in here, it was gathered on a competitive match with 3 versus 3. It was a replay that I did use and it never did drop from 60 frames per second. In this video you can see that uh, sometimes it seems that it is clearly close to drop from 60 frames per second but don't forget that I'm using Shadowplay to record at 4k so it penalties the performance more than usual because without Shadowplay it runs even better but those results that I did show to you it was without recording again during a competitive match with 3 versus 3 and so as you can see the game just runs flawlessly above 60 frames per second at 4k with the mere GTX 600 I mean 1650 Super so I guess that's all that I want to talk about uh, uh, the GTX 1650 Super in Rocket League hope you keep enjoying the rest of the match and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.